peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. This is your boy, Bobby Villain. I'm back with another episode. This is episode 24. Chelsea Handler is out here prostituting her pussy for Joe Biden. Everybody give it up to the white woman. Selling that pussy for the white man. That's how you know white women are loyal to white men. They loyal. Um, 50 Cent is still in still in mainstream media, mainstream news, I should say. They still talking about 50 Cent. And the fact that he came out in support of Joe Biden. Um, if you don't know, 50 Cent posted the um, basically the tax increase that would happen up under that would happen up under Biden's administration if he is elected. Let's hope. Let's all hope and pray that he's not elected. But he posted. Um, the tax increases that would happen in New York, California, New Jersey, and another state. Can't remember right now. Um, and pretty much it's at least 60% or higher in those democratically ran states. Everybody know 50 Cent resides in New York. And Chelsea Handler decided to come out and speak out against 50 Cent and the fact that he is in support of Joe Biden, or he seems like he's in, I mean, not Joe Biden, Donald Trump, or he seems like he's in support of Donald Trump due to the taxes, tax increases that would happen on the wealthy that make over uh, 400K. Well, the first 400K, once you make your first 400K, if you're in that tax bracket, everything else after that will be taxed up to 60% in the states that I mentioned before. Chelsea Handler used to date 50 Cent. She used to take that black pole. I guess that's why she feels like She's able to comment on this situation or what's happening right now. She comes out in an interview with uh, Jimmy Kimmel. I think it was Jimmy Kimmel. It's either Jimmy Kimmel or Jimmy Fallon, whichever one of them uh, late night comedians. In the interview with one of them two, she basically comes out and say that because 50 Cent is black he shouldn't be voting for Donald Trump and now if we, we go ahead and we dial it back about what two months ago Joe yeah Joe Biden kind of said the same thing he said you ain't black if you don't vote for a Democrat. Now, if that if that ain't the most racist fucking shit, <laughs> then I don't know what is. See, the problem with a lot of these white people, they feel like they can tell us who we are. They feel like they know who we are. And that's not the case. Now, a lot of black people do fall up under that category. They, they're loyal to Democrats. They're loyal to a Democrat, uh, to a political party that's not loyal to them 
They pan it to you first and they give to you last. And we need to stop that. Because if you ask me, at that point, you're a traitor. You continuously to support a group or a party that don't support you in the end. That's a traitor in my opinion. But that's the problem. That's the problem. White people feel like they can tell us who we are or what we supposed to be doing or who we should be voting for due to the fact that we fall up under the black community. Who are you to tell us who we supposed to vote for? Who are you to try to take our fucking our so-called black card because we we don't want to vote for a Democrat. The problem is with some black people, it's like we have to be spoon fed racism. So we're not in an outrage if we don't see white people walking down the street with tiki torches. Or we're not outraged unless we see a white cop murder a black person predominantly black men we're not outraged unless like they sit there and tell us all black people all black people eat fried chicken or watermelon or drink grape soda or whatever bullshit ass stereotype they have for us but let let one of these white people tell us we're supposed to vote democrat you hear crickets you don't hear nothing they turn the other cheek. They don't feel like that is alarming. That's the, that's the most racist shit that I possibly could ever heard that I ever heard this year. Chelsea Handler literally went into her. Lyndon B. Johnson back. If y'all know, know who Lyndon B. Johnson is, Lyndon B. Johnson was a Democratic president. He signed off on the Civil Rights Bill. But he sat there and he said he was going to have us niggas voting Democrat for 200 years. And that's a real quote. And he said niggas. She went into her Lyndon B. Johnson bag and sat there and told... And told 50 Cent, because he was black, he's not supposed to be voting for Donald Trump. Now, she also said if he publicly, he publicly, uh, publicly came out and denounced Donald Trump, that she will pretty much give him the pussy again. Now, if that's not prostituting your pussy for the Democratic Party, I don't know what is. Celebrities are so desperate to get Joe Biden into office that they got Chelsea Handler, old washed up ass out here prostituting her old white pussy. Give it up to the white man to have his bitches in check. He got the white women in check. They ready to give up the pussy just so they could get the vote for Joe Biden. Now, if that ain't no super fly shit, boy, I don't know what is. White people bold, bro. They really, <laughs> these motherfuckers is bold. I don't know what type of check Joe Biden and the DNC is cutting to these people, but shit, if the numbers look white, if the numbers look white, <laughs> if the numbers look right, and you toss me a bag, shit, you niggas better vote for Joe Biden. Fuck it. Because that's exactly what ha what's happening. All of these celebrities that's coming out Advocating for Joe Biden and the DNC and Kamala Harris, they're not going to benefit from anything that any of their policies or 
or any of the legislation bills or legislators that they will pass. They're not going to benefit from none of it. So why are they advocating for the Denver, uh, Democratic Party so tough? Because they're getting paid. They're getting paid to be spokes, spokes, uh, spokesperson for the Democratic Party. Same thing with Jay-Z and Beyonce when they was advocating for Hillary Clinton. They got paid to do so. LeBron James, too, got paid to do so. Now, if we pay attention to the media and how they constantly want to bash Trump, Trump is, is the worst president, this, that, and third, whatever, whatever. And it doesn't raise a red flag that everybody is saying the same thing. In mainstream media, and you know for a fact you're not supposed to trust mainstream media. You're not supposed to trust the news, the mainstream news, because they constantly push in fear. They constantly trying to keep us in a stagnant position. They constantly trying to control our perception of society and our opinions. You don't think it's going to be the same thing when they sitting there pushing this rhetoric about Donald Trump and trying to make Joe Biden seem like he's such a fucking saint in all actuality. He's probably he, what fucking Donald Trump said during the final debate. He was the least racist person up there. Joe Biden's for sure way more racist than fucking Donald Trump. Don't let the media fool you. The media is out here trying to get over on us. They trying to sway your opinion. They trying to mold your opinion into their opinion. They want you to think on a collective basis. They don't want you to think for yourself. The most dangerous person on this land within the United States is a person that can think for themselves. The Democratic Party got their Negro Wranglers out. My last video, I said, fuck them both. And I stand by that. Fuck them both. I'm going to go ahead and vote for the black man, Kanye West. I'm casting my vote for Kanye. Fuck it. Might as well. Because for some reason, we have this as as a community as black people speaking to black people the black community have this problem where we sitting there we we're, we're sitting here waiting for our white savior to come bring come, to come drag us out the hole that we're in that's our problem we we're, we're waiting on a white savior You really think voting between two white men is going to save us? Pay to, if you go back and you look at the last debate to the conservatives, go back and look at the last debate. Donald Trump didn't mention the platinum plan at all. Stop waiting for these white people to come save us. Thank you for tapping into the Fake World Podcast.